I'm currently working on a series based on the fragility of life and being temporary here. Um, it's a big, it's a big, broad topic, but it's something that is really important to me. Um, I've been through a lot in my life, and it's it's something that is really important to me to not only understand that we're only here temporarily, but then also appreciate it uh, and to make the most of it. Um, so what I'm working on right now is a series of um, recycled work, mixed media, um, and painting. Uh, working on this idea of um, being fragile. I've been doing subtractive paintings on, um, of koi fish on these large plexiglass pieces, as well as building up structures um, with recycled material that I'm welding together, um, burning together, as well as um, painting on top of surfaces that, and altering these surfaces, burning, drilling, um, puncturing these uh, surfaces that may not necessarily have to do with um, this being temporary. Um, my series right now um, has stemmed from this koi fish. You see it a lot in my work and it's a metaphor for me. It's a metaphor for life and for family and it's really important to me because my family back home in Buffalo, New York, we worked on building this, this koi pond of our own and it's grown and these koi started off really tiny and they've grown up to be huge and it's a peaceful place for us. It's something that we all gather as a family with a fire or just hanging out and it's um, a place of, of happiness. It's, it's a warmth, it's a safe place and it started to come out in my work. It started off with ceramic pieces. It was lovely and it was a very therapeutic quality of bringing what's important to me back home here. And that built into me working with this subtractive quality on the plexiglass surfaces. And the recycled part of that is I found and I would take it and I'd clean the surface and I'd add paint to it and then I'd subtract from it. So this whole process of adding, subtracting, adding, subtracting um, became really important. Here, music is really important to me. It's something that I feel is a language that can be spoken without words and no matter where you are located it, it can be translated and understood through multiple people. And it's something that I started off with mu musician, working with portraits of musicians, and I was figuring out the reasoning why, and it developed more into just appreciating the material of music as a, a, something precious, a CD, a vinyl, and then also taking the musician out of it. I did a series in photography of street musicians where I photographed them but it was of the essence of them, of, of the ground around them, of their cases, not of the musician themselves. Um, and I did paintings that went along that where they were faceless. And um, starting from that, it developed. And I still today work with this music medium because it's really important to what I want to say and to me is for my work. Um, but as it's evolved, every kind of material I've used has kind of led into something else. So I started off with the music and then that transcended into um, my uh, material base more or less than the actual image of or the subject matter. With all artists there's, there's challenges that, that we deal with on a daily basis, whether it's internal or external. And because what I'm working on with my recent work with being temporary and being captive here in this world, but having a positive side to it, it's it's been a challenge to have it come across as a positive rather than a negative. 
So that's something that I've been I've been working with and altering my work and trying to get this this essence of of positivity and hope and you know that there's still something out there that that is pulling us to make us continue. So that's something that's really been challenging, but it's it's helping me get to where it needs to go. But one thing that Sachi has been really, really helpful for me, being an art education undergrad major, um, I was able to work and I had to work with multiple disciplinaries. I worked with um, printmaking, um, 2D design, 3D design, sculpture, everything you could possibly imagine. And the one thing I love about the school is that it allows me to take my experience and my knowledge in these different subject matters and allow me to use them in my work. Not just saying you can only paint. Um, I'm a painter mostly, but I consider myself a multimedia artist. Um, I work with um, ceramics. I've been working a lot with ceramics um, in the past and also um, the schools allowed me to work in jewelry design, metalworks, which has then also evolved into the welding and burning into the structures, um, working with this plastic and um, having these opportunities of being able to work with the multimedia um, across Saatchi um, has, has allowed my work to really develop and be well-rounded and, and, and grow as one and become in a link and, and that one thread. For me, it hasn't just been one experience, it's really been the entire experience here. Um, I don't consider Florence just a place that I've spent a couple of years in. It, it's become a home to me. Having this time here, meeting the, the people that we've met, meeting the artists that we've met, um, working alongside the other artists in the program, it's something that this whole idea of being uncomfortable in a city has made my artwork mature, has made myself mature. Um, it's, it's become the reasoning why I think my artwork has, has gone the direction that it has. And it's, it's great. <laughs>